Welcome back to Power Tricks Watch, this is Sevi. Now, today I'm going back to the whole social intervention. We see in the papers, in a loop, say a uh, clergyman has said, you know, that he disagree with the security minister that social intervention doesn't work because, you know, he know of cases where, you know, them give you this and give you that and let me just get straight to the point. When it comes down to measuring if a policy is working, if a tactic is working, when it comes down to reducing murder rate, it's not feelings. It's facts. It can be measured. Westmoreland, whatever strategy you know have done there, it now work. Murders have increased. You can feel what you want. I mean, you can you can point out, look at anecdotal cases here. You mean no man, I mean no man, but facts are facts. It's not working. Social intervention has never and will never work as a murder reduction strategy, and I'll tell you why. Telling already, so the programs I'm not talk about, the youth that go up on them are not JJ Nakis. They're not the sci fi's, they're not the dark bars, they are not the bigger crimes. The people them I'm not talk about, but yeah, them, them take this program and then go up on this program and then them, you see some changes in their life. Those people were not spiking the murder rate. You know how I know that? Because if they were, and they're now on your social program, or they know they don't want to know them, they're on like a farm or raise chicken. Do you know what would happen to them? They'd be dead. Let me say that again. The reason why I know if you have fuck that they are not murderous, notorious 87s, is because if they were, they'd be dead or in jail. Here's a simple question for the social interventionists, you know, people who think that it can reduce murder rate. Here's a simple question. I'm a gunman, I kill six people. You then launch a social intervention program. It's effective, it worked for me. I decided to not shoot no more people. What happened to the sick people that I killed before? Let me ask the question again. I'm a notorious 87. I killed six people. Your social intervention program worked for me. I decided to stop shooting people. I'm going to go join your basketball team or whatever. What happened to the six people for me killed Will the investigation in those murders cease? Will the police say, well, him now nah bust no more guns, so I could just nobody try to solve them cases? Is that what would happen? No, that's not what would happen. 87s will still have to face either the law or their enemies. Your social intervention policy is a farce. Actual notorious, murderous, rampaging 87s cannot and will never go up on your, on your social program even if they want to. Even if they want to, then can't go up on it. Because the moment they become stationary, they are dead. You don't believe me? Go and check my Dooley video. Dooley baptize, go into the church, find wife, get picnic, get job, work in the supermarket, and clansman them left from Spanish town go bust out him head in the middle of price right. Your enemies simply will not allow you to go boy go up on a program and start over on a life. When you have killed six, seven, eight of them family and friends, they are coming for them retribution. The people them who go up on social programs are not JJ Nakis and bigger crime. The majority of murders in Jamaica are done by a minority of gangs. And even inside of those gangs, it's a minority of 87s who do the majority of the shootings. These people have no interest in social programs. And even if they wanted to, their enemies would not allow them to go up on it. This is why, in Westmoreland, I do not doubt the clergyman can show some people who them put them get chicken and them get this and them go up on and them intervene and all kind of things. Some of them even go baptized. I'm sure they exist, but guess what? The murder rate still has spiked because the man them who are the double murders and the triple murders, them can't go up on nothing. Do you think your enemy is going to allow you? What do you think? Man, I got here say, yo, I just killed 10 people over here, sir. But then when a social program starts, you know, social intervention go on, and boy, I'm here, sir, I'm here, chicken now. Do you think the people, 10 people, to 10 families, 10 friends, you think them are going to say, oh, I just did one? Oh, social intervention work? When I'm saying I'm cool, in now bad again? Alright, let's leave him alone. Yeah, let's leave him alone. I mean, I know it's part of my race chicken now. Right, then give him some chicken and he start on a little farm. I wouldn't know if it there. 
and then kill 10 people for yourself. Woman and pitney, right? Dog and everybody. But because the intervention works so good, I could just lower me a man. He's a new man. Cut the crap. The man I'm going to bust out at his head right upon him farm in front of him chicken. You people need to wake up. Wake up and smell the coffee. In that world, your enemies do not allow you to go up on the program. Ask Dooley. Or oh, you can't ask Dooley. He's too busy dead. Social intervention programs, these things, if they are to be used, is more for youths who like, well, them not, not do, and you say, well, me not want them to start getting in trouble, so give them something to do. It has no effect on murder rate. The man them may start kill already, don't care about no social program. Even if they want to go up on it, their enemies will not allow them to. And it's not just their enemies, it's also the law. What do you think the police are going to do? If bigger crime decides say, he might go up on a social program, with him 20 adopted them upon him name. You think the police are going to say, you think CTAC is going to say, well, the social intervention works, so I could just nobody investigate no more killing them. Right. Witness, so Monday morning, social intervention is effective. Bigger crime decides they're not shooting no more people, for whatever reason. It's that the, the plan is so good, the intervention works. Choose the morning, a witness to go down at the police station and go say, you know, so I have some information regarding that you bigger crime, but it's still in time you shoot them. I'm going to give you Police are going to say, well, actually, ma'am, bigger crime right, is now a member for a social program. Or, you know, the social intervention work very well. Bigger crime say, now, nah, bad no more. You might raise goat now. So you can just walk out of the station where interview. When people cut the crap because a troll and a troll. Him still have to go face the courts or his enemies. So answer that question. What is going to happen to the previous murders them do already? We killed 10 people. And your yeah, social intervention work for me. What is going to happen to those 10 cases? Police are going to drop them and forget them. This thing is turning into a farce. The fact that people are even trying to use this as... This is why it has no effect on murders. Because the youth them who do the triple murders and the one bag of killing all over the place. They still in the streets. A minority of 87s are responsible for the majority of murders. When you check out... When you break down Klansman murders, when you look at St. Catherine North, when Klansman them went black man and Tisha them a war, when you ask who kill who, do you know what it sound like? This is what it sound like. You'll have 150 murders in the division, and this is what it sound like. When you break down every murder, this is how it sound. Who killed them three people? Sci fi Scott Crab. Who killed them four people every day? Uh, Scott, him, him, and him. Who killed Sci fi? Who kill that one? JJ Nakis. And the same name them over and over. It's not 1,587 killing one person each. 87. You have 187 with 15, 20 victims by female name alone. 18 year old Scott had over 30 confirmed victims. And that's just who he managed to kill. Imagine how much getaway. Them youth then are go up on no social program and no social intervention cannot stop them. They have to be neutralized. This is not an opinion. Check the numbers for yourself. Check the data. It's been almost four decades. There is no social intervention program that has ever made 87s. If you look on murders, you see it rise consistent. Go and check the stats. Jamaica is lucky. When we have two years of consistent downward trending um, in murders, two, that's lucky. But if you tell real bad man, real gun man, say, well, if we go up on a social intervention, or social, we can reason it out, sit down and talk, and, and then we're going to put you on this program, and here's some chickens, and I'll give you some job. 30 victims, 30 families. But, companies that could program and go for this, so, see, now new hope. Like, say, the 30 people you kill, they come from a culture where they say, somebody have a dead back. And the man in this are wait, and I wait for the day. Where you become stationary. You think bad man don't know that? That's why them not go up on the social program. And that's why no social intervention are up on them. They are well aware. So they live in a country where man gets shot at peace dance. People keep peace dance and man go to go shot man. Yeah man, we could plan one peace dance and make him come there. And when he come there, man dead. When I talk about so I see papers too. Then you say gunman the Central Kingston, I work out peace treaty. 
Jamaica and Ireta and celebrate. Instead, they don't realize how pathetic right, that sounds. That 87s are made upon them own terms for work out their own peace treaties. That right there is a. Let's just call it what it is. That is a defeat to the government and the security forces. When you ever tell bad man, say, come look, sit down and try to talk it out, no, bro. Bro, we can't talk about this, bro. You are losing. The winning side, the only time the winning side goes to the negotiating table is to discuss the terms of your surrender. Tell me, sir, lie me, I tell The only time the winning side say, come back to sit down and talk is because they're not going to tell you now what you have to do when you surrender. Bring all of your rifle them come. Bring all of the women them in your community. All of them will look good. Carry them come. This is how nations, tribes, whatever, where they want to break it down to even the village. This is how people, when, when disputes are settled, when, 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 when victories are, are being confirmed, this is how it's done. I have won a number of decisive battles against you. So here what? Come back to sit down and talk. You can either continue to get defeated over and over, or you can come to the negotiating table. So here we are going to know. In order for me to stop raiding your village and destroying you and bombing the hell out of you, here we are going to do. Bring your goat them come, bring your woman them come, right? bring the whole air rifle them come, bring your pride identity come and come surrender to me. The side who approach, yo, can we talk bro? That's usually the losing side. Because the losing side cannot dictate nothing. The government of Jamaica, the security forces are not dictating nothing. They are asking 87s, please bro, work out a peace treaty no bro. Please bro. One of those cool no bro. That's because they are losing and they are running out of ideas. And gunmen in Jamaica and negotiate them own peace treaty. And people happy because they are like, well it better than nothing, yeah but for how long? Oh it go, play by the old video them, only can say what I want to say. But then stick most on the line and I'm scratching it and say, right, I really think so people are talking. Murder rate in Jamaica, spike and drop based upon when 87s get cool and hot. When the man them get cool, crime drop. When the man them get hot, crime spike. Now nah, nothing for do with none of your favorite leaders, them are favorite. Them, them have no ideas. Waste of time. Some man get lucky that's when them didn't have power or the, the man they are cool. And next man start because when they didn't have power, the man they hot. They run a roller coaster ride. If they could control anything, you would see a downward trend in crime. We can show on a down we can show on the countries like Colombia where you see crime has drop, 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 drop. That's where you say the government and the security forces are work. They're getting results. But when they see it drop up, when you see it drop and you go up, and you drop again up, that means say uh, roller coaster. Man in the know go. Which gun man I go sit down in a peace treaty and uh, and police are, yeah well. But them say them are talking now, them say them are working out things, so hopefully them work out things and you know, you know, and, and, and we get a little break in the crime. <laughs> hopefully that go on still, yeah man, yeah. Pathetic. That's what it reach, man. I feel negotiate. Please don't get bro, please, bro. Bro, the, the, the people the be a pressure behind that, bro. The, the, the minister about for losing work and people must say, please, 87, please. Just work it out. For how long? If me have my 87s, them, 100 87s with 100 rifles, the next my neighbor have 100, 100 rifles too, I will cool for three months. How long you think it is before we flare up again? Remember August Stone? Remember when August Stone went like a whole year? And there was no murders and people that said, Yeah, see the crime fighting strategy. The unicorn meat. The man in the cool. Make man cool is not a crime fighting strategy. As long as they have their weapons, as long as they have the 87s and their kerosene and their networks, and they can move around and attack when them feel like, then you are not in control. So you are trying to take credit card the man in cool. Gangs have to be neutralized. If them have them straps, like, but they just now use them for three months, that no means you're not a crime fighter or you do nothing good. Imagine gunmen are up on their own terms. Complete farce. Celebrating mediocrity. One answer to me. Imagine I tell 
og har råbt sig Gunman Kugle. Og har arkset Gunman for Kugle. United States government show no. So when time them are deal with, remember what I mean Afghanistan? When America did I go hard, they never did any negotiating. Then when they realize say, oh oh, we're not going to win a decisive victory or so, what them do? Them start talk. If every time me flare up, you come back on the negotiating table, that all you're telling me is you cannot defeat me. And if me ready, then I'm just going to say, alright, give me this next time. Give me this next time. After all of the back and forth in Afghanistan, the moment America left, when you see the video of them, man they pan plane and drop off. The Taliban just take over back everything. After years and years, billions of dollars, maybe trillions, thousands of dead soldiers all over the place, the Taliban just take over the place because they were never in control. NATO was never in control in Afghanistan. It's the same thing for Jamaica. The Jamaican government, security forces have never been in control of the crime situation. So even though the man they might cool, the moment you turn your back, or the moment one of them step on one of them shoes, or take on one of them girl, or one man box some man, then all hell broke loose again. The Taliban was never neutralized, and it's the same way gangs in Jamaica, the few 87s have never been neutralized, therefore they are in complete control when them want flare up. So you can celebrate a little temporary peace treaty. While the man them sit down upon them 500 rifles right, and them 587 and them bag of kerosene and them bag of corrupt cops and all that right, and them have them whole network intact same way. Right. But them cool for like a 3 months. Go ahead celebrate but I'll see you in 3 months time. Maybe 6 months time. It's a complete joke. Where are the convictions? Where are the weapons? You can't show me that? Then you have won nothing. You have achieved nothing. There is no substitute for effective crime fighting and policing. Them only for chat chatting out with 87s and big man cool and work out things. These are nothing more than a diversion. Where are the convictions? You know none? Where are the anti-gang trials? Where are the 50 men from this gang who are being bring down one time like we see on trial now? Oh that don't happen? You are wasting my time. Because now the clock is ticking before them flare up again. So if you can't show me these gangs dismantled, you can't show me the legislation when you use bring them down, you can't show me the 500 rifles them, when we know some mobile man them alone lock off. Right. And that's probably one local crew. 500 probably a small number. Probably 5,000. Where them there? You know of them? You can't show me say, I them man did carry out. You're wasting my time. No, you can get a little pat on your back from the Jamaican people. Well done because you're two months now and about to get shot. Alright. Let's see in two months time. We'll see when you pull out. Just like all when time Uncle Sam pull out. Have you understand? Taliban were like, thank you. Now it's our turn to shine again. That's what it is. Thank you for the bag along chatting. Thank you for the taxpayer money we give you, but we forgot to start a program or we use buy shot and gun anyway. Thank you. We're gonna just take over back Central Kingston now. We're gonna just take over back Mobile now. Thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Complete farce. But what's in the box? What's in the self on the box thing? Well done. You've made gunman come negotiate at their own terms. Amazing. Anyway. You just what? You open yourself. Yeah, you don't know. Whole life. Ultra squad. Stay circling. Bless.